The key to enjoying a healthy harvest in the summer and fall and make sure that salad at the end of the season is full of fresh grown vegetables is to start off with healthy starter plants in the spring. A healthy starter plant means you're going to have a healthy mature plant, you're going to have a great yield. So there's a few ways to do this. You can buy starter plants from a local grower or greenhouse or you can seed your own. Now seeding your own vegetables is one of those many things of gardening that's a lot easier to do than that sounds. A lot of people get intimidated. They think, how do I get from this little seed to this tomato plant right here? And it sounds intimidating, but you know what? The seed has everything in it that it needs to turn into that tomato. All you have to do is give it the chance. It's a miracle that's going to happen for you, and you just have to give it the chance to happen. So today, we're going to plant some seeds and, uh, and get, some, get some lettuce greens going. So here's our, here's our little seed planter here. I'm going to put these to the side here, these tomato seeds, because I don't need them right now. I'm going to start off with Asian baby leaf with a mescaline mix. Gorgeous, uh, gorgeous cutting greens. The great thing about lettuce greens is that you can just keep cutting them, keep adding them to your salad. Here is a seed tray. Now this has individual trays. It's very handy. You don't need to do that. You can start off with a big open, uh, open flat if you like. I have some seeding mix here. You notice the seeding mix. You notice how fine that is? Very fine texture. You don't want to start off with with the full-on soil with your seeds because the, there's too many air pockets and the seed, the little fibrous roots are not going to have a chance to grow properly. So I spread that out nice and even and I take my seeds. Aren't those beautiful? I love the way seeds look. I take my seeds and you know what? I, I'm just going to sprinkle them in there. There's no, this is not rocket science. All you have to do is get the seeds in the soil and nature will take care of the rest, okay? So I'm gonna sprinkle a few more on there. The individual packets are very handy because once they're, once they're rooted out, you can just pop them up and transplant them. Now you wanna make sure to use sterilized soil, never soil from the garden. It could contain pathogens. Seeds are very, very fragile and vulnerable to fungus and other disease when they start. I'm gonna cover this with a very faint layer of soil, just very faint. If it's in the summertime, in the spring, you can direct seed this into the garden, just have a little patch or, in, or into your containers. And then you wanna, you wanna get some water on this. You wanna start with moist soil, then you need to water it. And you want, when you water it, you wanna make sure all the corners are nice and moist. You wanna make sure it's nice and evenly moist just until it starts to drip out the bottom. You take your cover and you cover it up. Pretty soon your cover is going to look like these and you only lift the cover to make sure the seedlings, uh, the, the cells are watered underneath. You check them every day and that cover is going to keep that humidity in the seeds and it's going to soften up those seed shells and let those, let those first leaves burst out of there. And after about a week you should start to see your greens. Different vegetable seeds are different, that's the trick. There's a, there's a schedule you need to follow and they'll tell you on the package. But that's as easy as it is folks and then as soon as you start to see the green shoots appear, you take off the cover and you keep watering, you let them grow out and they'll be ready in no time for transplanting into your containers.